This video on how to build your latigos is an excerpt from a longer course on how to build a roping saddle with Matt Warner. You can find the entire course at learnwithaloom.com. All right, we're back. The saddle evened out good over the over the night. Um, I'm excited about that. That that duff's worked really good on this saddle. Um, I did notice when I got back. This saddle's been strapped down for a few weeks now in the seat, and you can see the discoloration. Um, if you happen to have that, don't worry. That'll all even out over time. As soon as this starts hitting the sun and out in the elements, it's all just going to even out and, and be just fine. But you can kind of see where that strap was. But all in all, that, that oil and that cream done its job. It looks really good. Uh, so we're ready to go ahead and build a latigo. The, we're going to build a, a regular long latigo for the on side and then a, what I call a half breed for the other side. And then we can call this a button up. So I've set this draw gauge at an inch and three quarters. Uh, this is just a craft tool draw gauge. They work pretty good for, for this kind of leather. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. This is heavy latigo. So we order this through Weaver and it's it's just heavy latigo. It's you know, we want a pretty good heavy leather for for your latigos. And just the long latigo Honestly, we make it as long as the height is, and uh, if the client doesn't like how long it is, they can always cut some off, but you don't, you dang sure don't want them too short, so you want to be seven or eight feet long, is how long you'd, you really need to be with a long latigo. I'm going to put an English point on this. The other end I'm just going to do a half round like that. If you were using a punch for this, uh, you'd, you'd use an inch and three quarter English point and an inch and three quarter round. Now I'm going to take my wing dividers and find center of the, of the strap. Ten inches from the tip and for about 36 inches I'm going to punch holes that are an inch and three quarter apart. And just walk this up there. I'm using a number eight hole punch here. The tongues on the cinch buckles are quite a bit bigger than any other buckle we use. Up at the fold end, I'm going to create a three inch fold there and then I'm simply going to punch a hole on this side and this side and then one in the front center like that and that's where I'm going to lace it. Now I'm just going to edge this one. I'm going to take my number three edger. One thing I'd keep in mind with these latigos is really the thicker the better and you may, you don't want to cut these out of the belly um, this is what's going to hold that saddle on the horse it's a safety issue so you want to have really really good latigos for these latigos i'm using a a good heavy hide they, these are 
you know if you're 15 16 ounce that's that's better um we need the strength we have the long light to go prepped now we're going to take and build us a half breed so we're going to make this a total length of 26 inches after it's folded 52 inches in total length these are a little bit unique and sometimes take some training on how they're supposed to work I will explain that so you can tell your person or or you know if you do it yourself but I'm just gonna put an English point on each end and then we're gonna go ahead and edge it right now Fold this over. I'm going to find center. Same distance for the holes, inch and three quarters. I started that top hole at six inches. And I want to keep that fold folded. And I'm going to punch through both layers. Again, I'm using my number eight hole punch. And we're ready. Um, I do want to show you how this works. This doesn't go down through your D-ring like this. Because it's only got one one piece of leather that's going to hold that on. These are designed to go like this actually. So if we had our front cinch, it would go up through the front cinch like that, doubled over and down through the buckle like this. That's how a half breed works. That doubles the strength. So you'll match the holes up where that buckle tongue comes through and that's how, it, how that works. Okay. So like this, not like this. I'm gonna oil the rough outside of these and let them sit while we prep our, our horn wrap. There's a little bit of oil in the latigo already, but I wanna make sure that these get plenty of oil. Putting it on fairly thick and it's taking it well. You can see it, it's sucking it up. You know, you can use olive oil, you can use neat's foot oil, you can use this Duff's that we've been using on this entire project. Um, just as long as it's got some sort of oil of that nature. All right, now that we got that oiled, let them sit and let that oil penetrate. All right, we got our Latigos oiled up. They're ready to install into the saddle. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Alum Connect is your place to connect with the world of leathercraft. Alum Magazine, Learn with Illum, and Illum Events. All of these outlets are places to learn more and be involved in the leather crafting community. We hope to see you soon in print, online, or at one of our events.